everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today we are going to a topic which is you know the, it's a day to day activity in the vc dial if you are administrator you know it it's might be there is a hamper in the server or os might be crashed or you know you have to install the latest vc box um, the iso so what do you have to take you have to take the backup of the whole system and then you have to restore the vc dial so th there are a lot of people has already requested for this video and today i'm going to show you how to do that one so basically this video is how to take the backup from the vc dial and then how do you have to restore the uh, the backup if you want to take the backup of the asterisk you can take the only asterisk backup also so i'm going to show you how to do that one uh, but before we can start it uh, if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on future tutorials and tips all right let's jump right in to take the backups first we have to go to the user share then stgu client hit enter you can check the commands the, the script there, there are a lot of script up there and if you are going to hit the help button then you can check the DB only settings DB settings only without the logs because logs are very heavy there are options of the leads only okay and configuration file only you can take it without db also as i have already mentioned only the asterisk configuration will take no db file will be there without corn job and here is the the debug and test so first we have to take the archive path this command is basically for where you want to store the backup now we are putting into the root and then hit enter now go to the root here you can check here I got my all the files now you have to take this backup you can use uh, the command line also to transfer the Linux to Linux server so let me put this backup to another server so now we are moving to the next server where we are going to uh, put our backup and then restore I have already put the backup file through the WinSCP. Here is a file. Let me unzip it. So here you can see this is our folder where it's done okay so here is the the folder where you can check all it has unzip now let's start one by one so let's start the first SPF. bin Okay, now it's done. Now the next one, then config one. Okay, now sounds. the 
this one is look for web and there is voicemail and now the Linux one okay done okay what I've already pending asterisk one so let's start with the asterisk so we have to put this command 192 strikes okay it's done now we are going to put the database restoration we don't have any password by default in the root time because there are a lot of files are there in the database okay so database has already restored now we have to do the other things so once uh, we have done the restoration process in the, the SQL then we have to compulsorily update our IP so to update our IP we have to go to the CD user share stg client then we have to put the update pl and then hit enter why we need to do this because it might be sometime your server the old server ip address and new server ip address might be different so that is the reason we have to update the ip address in my scenario it's both are same but though i am just going to I'll show you how to do that one now we are going to check the the SIP has already reformed or not it's working perfectly asterisk also running now let me check with the SIP show peers so it's showing the the previous one let me go to the dashboard the all user are showing here let me check the user logs also I got the logs okay one more thing if you have to uh, the restore your recording files you have to take the recording files from the server uh, the parts pool asterisk monitor done in mp3 and then you have to put the same uh, in, into the same folder uh, the, the just copy and paste the all recordings and you will get the access here that's all that's all from the from my side i hope you like this video thanks for watching